Okay, you guys, here is a very good unit you could purchase. It doesn't matter if it's to Google Cast or the Chromecast first generation, second generation, or third generation. Um, and then I'm going to let you know a little thing here about the 4K generation. It's just a waste of money, you guys, because it's not actually 4K. And there's not a device out there yet today can put out 4K quality TV. So it's enhanced. So I'm sorry to burst your bubble. So don't waste your money on the most expensive Chromecast or whatever you want to call them out there. If you really want 4K, get yourself an Xbox. I'm not an Xbox fan, but they really are 4K. So that being said, let's get on to the second generation of the Google Chromecast. So I'm going to do this unboxing with one hand. I'm going to get into the package. We're going to open it up and see what's inside. So now I got the uh, wrapper taken off this. We're going to take a little glance at the box. And this is called a Google Chromecast. And it supports Netflix, Google Play, YouTube, Spotify, Curve TV, and Google Photos. And on the back, this is uh, Stream On. You can make your TV smarter. Uh, simply plug into your HDMI port and connect to the Wi-Fi and start streaming. And it is that easy, you guys. Like, take your phone. Who needs Android boxes? You want to go pay $100, $200, $300 for Android boxes? Your phone is an Android box. I mean, and the thing is, your phone is actually going to be a lot better than an Android box. There's lots of apps out there like you can download. Uh, you go don't download from the app store. You go to the uh, Chrome or your, your Google. Actually, you can call it Google or Chrome, whatever. But search. Uh, I don't know HD movies and all them apps out there. You can download all those apps and you can watch new movies just released from the theaters and they are in excellent quality. They're not uh, recorded with a camera. They're actually 1080p, 720p videos, you guys. Awesome. So, uh, HTMI video streaming from the cloud, which is pretty awesome. Um, you probably can't read this. My phone don't seem to be focusing too good on this. Let's zoom in here. So... Uh, I'm just going to read it to you. 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz, which is pretty good. Wi-Fi supported uh, for faster load times. Um, start streaming with your vo uh, voice using Google Home, which is pretty cool. So you can use your phone and just use your voice, and it's all voice activated. Uh, plug into an HDMI port, TV cable included. You can plug it into the wall or the USB right in the back of your TV. And this is the most easiest device. So if you're an elder out there and you're not very computer literate or whatever, you have a phone, you get a smartphone, and you're pretty good with that, Google will set you right up. It's just a few pushes of a button. Bang, you're streaming any movie you want to your TV with this device. And there's a lot of people there who loves this. So in the box, you'll see the uh, Chromecast. And we're just going to flip it open. And on the inside of the box, you'll see the cords. And I think this is a little instruction manual. Pretty simple. That's how easy it is, you guys. This is all you have for instruction manuals. That's that easy to set up. So getting started, you just uh, plug in your TV. Switch TV input to the HDMI input you want. Set up the configuration for Chromecast. So what you do is you go to your phone and you go to Home, Google Home, I guess you would call it. And you search for your Chromecast. When you plug it in your TV, it'll pick it up automatically. You just put your Wi-Fi password in and bang, you're on. It's that simple. So in the package, you'll get a power brick, my TV, has the uh, USB hubs in the back, so you will not need that with newer generation TVs. You usually get three on the back of them. So this one will just be staying in the box. So all you're going to need is just the, the cable. So we're going to put this back in here. 
I'm going to put that back in here because we're not going to need that. And then in here you have your Chromecast. We're going to take this out and have a quick glance of it. And if I can get this out with one hand, it'd be awesome. So I'm going to put this back in the box. Put the cover on. And here is your your Chromecast. And this should be magnet. That's pretty cool. It's got a little magnet on the back so it uh, sits away nice and tidy. Like that. And uh, you just plug this right into your HDMI. And it should automatically pick up which Wi-Fi you're using. You power this little device with this cord. That goes right into the bottom. Like so. I'm going to plug it in right now. So you guys, I don't have my tripod. I wasn't going to set up a tripod for this little video, but you'll get the idea. And there's a lot of videos out there probably on this already, and I'm probably wasting my time. So you plug that in like that, and then you just take this in and plug it in the back of your TV. And then you plug this piece, the HDMI, right into your TV, and it'll automatically pick it up. So let's let's do that. So I'm going to set this up with you guys right now. Okay, so we're going to walk over here and we're going to uh, plug this in. Here it is right here. So first things first, we're going to plug into the HDMI port, which is sitting right here on the side. If I can get, uh, get in there like so. And then we're going to uh, plug in the USB into the USB port, which is right here. I have one right there. These are usually uh, five amps or something like that for USB sticks. It powers them up. So that's plugged in. And then you'll get a light that will come on. I don't know how much should be a light or something on this. Um, oh wait, my TV's off, so it ain't gonna work until you turn your TV on. Find so my remote control, and we're going to uh, turn the TV on. <laughs> That's all there is to it, you guys. Just plug a USB in there. You just plug it into the end of this. And then we should see a cord come on here. Okay, so I got it on the right HDMI port. There's the light right there. You'll see a light come on. I'm gonna turn the light out on the camera. There you go. And you'll see the light. So this will come on, it's activating, it's booting up, and you'll see a Chromecast pop up on your screen. I'm going to show you how easy this is to set up. So we're going to take our device that we're going to use. So it says, set me up. Oh, actually streaming a movie right now from this device to the other room for my baby. So I don't know. I'm going to try setting it up. So we're going to go to, uh, uh, go to Google. I'll show you the app. So there's the app right there. It says Google. Oh, that's, that looks like a house or it says home. And click on that. So I'm going to add another one. See now on the bottom here, you'll see that that one says bedroom, TV, pause. I can pause that. I can run all the options and everything right in here. I can uh, click on right here and tell it what to do. So right now we're going to set up. So we're going to add one. And we're going to say... Uh, set up device. 
Okay, and then uh, set up a new device or add existing device services to your home. So new device, set up new device in your Google Home start menu or smart display. So we're going to click on this one right here. Choose a home. You'll be able to control the device and services in this home. So we're going to hit home. And we're going to hit next. So now it's looking for devices. Google has pretty much did an awesome job with these uh, devices and other units you can control your whole house with. It says Chromecast found. Would you like to set up the Chromecast 0761? So that must be the numbers for this one. So we're going to say yes. So this is Chromecast. Connected to Chromecast. So it's connecting. See, it says Z2P3 on the TV. I don't know if you can see that or not. This is set me up. So it says CTV code on your TV. Or see the code on your TV. Apologies. Uh, C Z2P3 lets you know that you're connecting to the right Chromecast. So that's the right one, you guys. Yes. Okay, where is the device? We're going to put bedroom next. So this is in my bedroom. Whoops. Bedroom next. Bedroom TV2. Create a unique name. This is next. And that's my Wi-Fi that I'm using. It automatically picked it because my phone's on that. Next. It may ask me for a password. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Connecting to Wi-Fi. That's just so simple. The elderly people, that's not very computer literate, but they have a phone. They can uh, watch movies, use their phones, and Android tablets. They can use tablets. You can use computers. Whatever you have, but the most simplest thing to use is your tablets and home phones. So it says update required. Hang on while we fetch the update. So now it's uh, it's looking for an update there. Let me zoom in. It says up there, update required. Fetching the update. So it's at 6%. So we're going to let this update. And when this is all done updating, you guys, this will be all finished. You'll be able to watch anything you want. So I just wanted to show you how easy it was to set this up. And, uh, you know, stream videos to your your uh, TV. And a lot of people out there, they, they're buying these devices that everybody thinks they're 4K. Uh, I hate to burst your bubble, but or not. You may have a 4K TV that's capable of in accepting 4K. But most of the devices out there that's pushing or trying to push 4K to them, TVs is basically enhanced. They call it enhanced 4K. And there's one box I only know of out there right now. And I'm absolutely 100% sure it's only one box, and that's Xbox. The new Xbox X. Or 10, where do you want to call it? But anyways, that is actually pushing out 4K. And you're going to get the best picture from that Xbox than anything else in the world today. Android boxes, they don't have anything out there. They may say it is, but it's not. It's just a marketing sales scam. It, um, like these Chromecasts, they have one out there that says supports 4K. But there's not a device out there that's really... Truly 4K. I mean, 1080p or 1080i is the closest you're going to get to actual 4K. The uh, PlayStation Pro is not even true 4K. So it's just enhanced. It's all enhanced. makes it look like it, but it's not the actual resolution. So anyway, guys, this is the... Uh, it's updating. It's pretty simple. 
And uh, if you just want me to make a video of me streaming something or how to run a stream to something, uh, make another video for that. But thanks for watching. Get yourself a Chromecast. It's so simple to set up. Thanks, you guys. Please rate and subscribe. And uh, thumbs up. I appreciate you guys watching. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. <laughs>